Are you using average to report your numbers to management and clients? You are not alone. Millions of people have been reporting averages to their clients and management. But you are doing it wrong. You see, average is not the best way to represent your data. So what should you use? How are you supposed to do reporting if you are not supposed to use averages? Well, there are better measures. So I'll show you step by step how median can be easily reported and a median is way better than an average. Average is not the best way to represent your data. Average will often give you the wrong picture. I'll demonstrate this to you in a minute on why you must stop using averages. But then if you don't report averages, how else are you going to report on your data? Simple. Use median. Median is a much better way to represent your data. It's one of the better measures of central tendency. A median gives you a much more accurate picture of your data. Hi, I'm Vinay Prakash from Excel Champ, where I provide you tips, tricks, tutorials and videos like this to help you improve your productivity, gain more out of Excel, analyze your data better and become an Excel Champ yourself. If you haven't, subscribe to our Excel Champ channel right now so that you can be notified of future Excel tips and tricks and step-by-step -step tutorials automatically. Statistically, there are three ways to report data. These are called the measures of central tendency. They are mean, median and mode. So let me quickly show you how the three work and then we will look into the data and see how to actually use them. Let's look at these two sets of data. In here, we are going to check how to calculate the mean which is the most common measure of central tendency. You see, mean is extremely easy, but mean is affected by extreme values, which are called outliers, the values that lie outside the main values. For example, in this case, the values are evenly distributed. So the mean is easy to find. The mean is 5. Whereas, if the values are all over the place and especially the 14 is quite outside the usual band that's what an outlier is so in this case the average is 6 and there is no actual value on 6 as you can see there we have small values and we have large values not so 6 is not a very good representation of your data now let us look at what a median can help you to do. So what is a median? A median is a much more robust measure of central tendency. It is not affected by extreme values and it is easily calculated. So in this data, as you can see, the median is the middle value. Very simple. It does not matter uh, how big or how the data is distributed. It is not affected by outliers. Therefore, the median is simply the middle number. So even if the data is spread out, the median does not change. It is still 5. Can you see how better is that compared to the average? So if you have odd numbers of data, the median is the middle number. But what happens if you have an even set, for example, only four values? In this case, is number two the middle value or number three the middle value? Well, in that case, we take the average of the two middle numbers. That's how easy it is to calculate the median. Finally, I'll quickly show you what a mode is. A mode is simply a measure of central tendency that shows you which number appears the maximum number of times. It's the value that occurs the most often. Mode is not affected by extreme values. 
and the best thing you can use it for numerical or categorical data that means even if you have text based data like categories or gender or departments or quarters you can still use it but keep in mind sometimes there may be no mode and in other times there may be multiple modes so when you look at these data sets you can see that the number 9 appears the maximum number of times therefore 9 is our mode but in the second set of data all the numbers appear only once and therefore there is no mode now i am going to demonstrate to you how do you calculate this and you will be able to see the difference on why you must not use averages only instead you should also begin to use the median and the mode etc to better report your data and have a more holistic picture so to download this excel file you can simply go to this location tinyurl.com slash mean dash median and you will get the same sample file that i am going to use and so you can try out the exercise with me and at the end i will give you a challenge to see if you got it right and if you want to take part in the challenge it is better if you download the sample file right now so we can do this exercise together so here i am in excel and these are the data sets that we are going to report on so the very first thing we are going to calculate the average as usual average can easily be calculated from the average formula and it is easy to write equal to average open bracket choose your uh, numbers that you want to measure and close the bracket once we press enter we can see that the average here is 70 and if I simply drag I will get to see the average of the other series as well next let us look at the median so the median is the middle number and we calculate it by equal to median open bracket and in the same way we choose the data sets close the bracket so all the numbers are taken for the median press enter and you realize that the median is also 70 so in this case the data looks pretty good the median is the same number and when we look at um, other sets you can realize that the median can be very different from the average so if you get the same number the median is same as the mean the average you may be lucky and your data is nicely evenly distributed but that may not be the case all the time I mean we do have seasonality some days we don't sell much and other days we sell a lot finally we calculate the mode so we want to find out the mode of all these five numbers we close the bracket and now as you can see equal to mode b2 to b6 press enter in this case we have no mode there is no common number so let's begin to understand what happens you see if the data is evenly spread out 70 is the average and 70 is the median but if the data is quite uh, widely distributed as you can see we have small numbers like 20 and 30 and we have large numbers like 89 and 100 in this case 36 happen to be the middle number if you want it it may look better uh, when you sort the data but with small data sets you may not realize much gain anyway let me sort this data in the ascending order so i simply go to sort and filter sort smallest to largest so now we have sorted all these data series and of course there is no difference in the average or the median now i'll show you a chart on a straight line showing you where are the numbers we can do this easily by inserting a spark line so we select our data and press 
merchant so as you can see now i have a nice looking chart in a single cell and i can see the markers extending this to the others data series you can see that the data is now plotted in a straight line and you can see that here the data was uh, evenly distributed in the first series in the second series the third number is lower compared to all the uh, the other two higher numbers and the same happens to be the third case so a median is simply the middle number which could be in the higher range or the lower range here and this is an actual value where a data point actually exists to calculate the mode and to get more out of your data we can use other measures as well let me demonstrate to you in another example so you can get a clear idea i'm on the second sheet mean median mode and here let us simply create a chart in a single cell by adding the path line select all the values and press so as you can see we have a chart of all the different values and some are high some are low so the numbers are all over the place let us calculate the average quickly equal to average of all the numbers similarly we find the median of all the numbers and we calculate the mode of all these numbers equal to mean median and mode so as you can see here in this case the average is uh, quite good 53 so if you look at if let's say our sales is normally between 0 to 100 when people look at 53 they will be like wow uh, you know on average we are able to uh, meet 50 percent of the uh, amount whereas the reality is that most numbers are lower now you may not realize this here that's why it is important to sort your data so if i were to take all of this data copy and i want to show you in a comparison so i'll paste it here and i'll sort this data here sort smallest to largest our data points are sorted of course the mean the median and the mode will not change but now you can see uh, rather than up and down our data is uh, set in a, a straight ascending order and you can see that the fifth which is the middle number is on the lower side only four values are higher and five values are actually lower so the median is a better measure rather than on average so average may say 53 but then not a single time we have sold about 50 or 53 that's the reason i want you to stop using only average yes average is good your management your client may want you to still report it okay by all means report it but don't rely on average only supplement it with the median add the mode for you to see which value is appearing the most often and now we can see 25 is the number that most people purchase we have two times had a sale of 25 so these two when added to the average will make a better more holistic picture of your data i hope you got the idea and now it's time for a challenge on the challenge worksheet here i have prepared a set of data for you I want you to calculate the average, the median and the mode and then sort the data. Look at the spark line and then send me your answers in the comments below. Let me see if you got it right also. So there you have it. Now it's your chance. I want you to download the sample Excel file. Try out the challenge exercise and send me your answers the formula that you have written and the values you got in the comments below. I will definitely get back to you. So let's see if you have become a champ in using mean, median and mode to get a better, more holistic view of your data. In an upcoming video, I will be demonstrating to you how you can calculate mean, median and mode and even more than that, 
without writing a single formula and if you want to be notified for that be sure to subscribe to our channel right now and tell me what techniques are you using to analyze your data and also give me suggestions what new tips tricks and video tutorials would you like to see because based on your suggestions i'll create those trips and tricks videos these tricks will help you to become an excel champ that's my mission so i hope you found this video useful and it will help you in your work thank you guys become a champ in excel all the best